Good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Tuesday, October 9th, which means it's two months until my birthday. My birthday is on December 9th. And uh, that was a random side note. And it is about 10, 20 a.m. So this morning the rain woke me up. It is just pouring down rain, which is my favorite way in the world to wake up. I love waking up to a big thunderstorm or a big rainstorm. And so I heard just like pouring down rain and thunder outside. So I got up and um, got moving and I washed the sheets from our guest room bed because we had a guest stay with us um, a week or two ago and I put those back, you know, now that they're clean, same with the towels for the guest room, put those back. I did all of our dishes, you can't see probably, but right here there's a bunch that are still drying. Um, tidied up our bedroom, have done a couple of loads of laundry. It's been like a super productive morning for only having been up for about three hours. I just have gotten a lot done. Um, this week, it's Tuesday. I tried to start this vlog on Sunday and I tried to start it yesterday, but um, my brain has been sucked up with Etsy. So I still have over a hundred open orders on Etsy right now and um, it's just been a lot. It's been a lot, it's been really good, but a lot. So each day I'm spending usually like three to four hours sorting them, getting them printed, getting them packaged, answering questions. A lot of people um, will check out and accidentally check out with the wrong address and then I have to go back in and update that. Just all those little administrative things for Etsy I've been spending a lot of time on um, over the past couple of weeks. So that's the story. Also, um, I've talked about this in previous videos and vlogs, so um, I'm not going to go deeply into it here, but we are going undergoing currently a major Etsy change. And so in the midst of all of, you know, fulfilling all of these many, many orders, we are also working on new designs and getting new things going and getting samples done and all of those things that go along with that. So it's been, the point is, the past couple of weeks I have just been like inundated with just Etsy and then I also have like probably 12 or 15 mentees currently so between Etsy and my mentees it's been tough to film but I'm really proud of myself because I haven't skipped a video yet I've been doing three videos a week my normal Monday Wednesday and Friday anyway I'm gonna go ahead and grab something to eat because I'm super hungry um, and kind of get my I mean, my day's been going, but just continue with my day. I'm gonna do some more laundry, head up to my husband's studio and get some more Etsy stuff done, that kind of thing. So I thought I would pick up the camera, start my next weekly vlog. I do have a couple of fun things I wanna show you and I am like itching to tell you about our upcoming Disney trip. Um, that has been the number one question I've been getting lately is when are you guys going to Disney next? And we do have a trip planned and it's been planned for a little while now, um, but Riley and I just feel like it's a good idea to wait until that trip is completely solidified, all the flights are booked, the whole trip is paid off, like everything is set before I share it publicly online because things just change and then it's really hard to go back on your word on the internet because not everyone sees everything that you've said. So like for example, if I told you all about it now and then in the next vlog I was like, well we had to change this or in two months people wouldn't necessarily catch that. And so anyway, I'm just gonna wait until it's all said and done but I am like itching, I can't wait to tell you about it. I'm hoping, um, maybe by late November, early December, I can tell you about it. Can't wait, can't wait. So I do have a couple of um, Disney related things that I've picked up that I wanna show you as well. So it's been a good day already. It's, this week has gone really well so far, despite having a lot on my plate. Um, I feel very grounded and I feel like getting up early and getting things done around the house helps me because y'all know how I feel about having my house in order. <laughs> it's a must. So anyway, you're in the cabinet right now. I've had some people in a previous vlog, like a couple, maybe one or two ago, I had y'all in the cabinet again and someone was like, oh, it's so nice to be back in the cabinet. So welcome back to the cabinet. Welcome to my week. I'm so glad you're here. Let's jump in to this Tuesday. All right, I am making a cup of tea, and this is my most favorite tea in the entire world. Um, it is the Harney & Sons Hot Cinnamon Spice Tea. I absolutely love it. I talked about this constantly in my fall and winter vlogs from last year, so if you've been around since then, then you're probably nodding your head. But this is so, so good. It's, um, I always describe it, I'm not like a tea 
connoisseur, but I always describe it as like a full bodied tea. Like if you really like coffee because you like that full strong flavor, but you feel like tea just tastes like watery herbs, try this. This is like cinnamony and has a bold punch. It is such a nice, I love starting my day with it. So I'm gonna have a cup of this in one of my favorite mugs, which happens to be Disney, because now that I just talked about it to you, I am like thinking about it and wishing I were in Disney World. Um, wishing I was in Disney World. I feel like I get that wrong a lot. Anyway, and then I just um, made a bagel, so I'm going to eat some breakfast. I just finished breakfast and I got dinner in the crock pot it's gonna take all day. We are having pulled pork sandwiches for dinner. So that's going. And I've been sipping on my tea. This tea is so good. I haven't had it in a while. It's not, to me, it's not really a summery tea. So I haven't had it. If you hear that sound, it's the spin cycle on my washing machine. I need to clean this. Look what a mess that is. I will do that today. I'm about to fold some laundry and, um, get that going but it has been such a good morning so far I just feel so relaxed getting up early or at least making the most of the morning is so worth it to me also okay let's talk about these nails these nails I got over two weeks ago they are the dip where you dip they like put the powder on your nail it's like or you could like dip it you know what I'm talking about it's like this powdery thing you don't have to cure it under a UV light or anything like that. Um, and so unfortunately, I don't know what this color is. Obviously, these are very overgrown. This is over two weeks ago. But they are not chipped on either hand at all. I mean, like, they look ridiculous and I need to go get them taken off. But they are not chipped. And here's my right hand, which I am right-handed, so I use it all the time. Like not one of them is chipped and they're not peeling up at the corners. So I would say if you need long-term nails, I mean they do ruin your nails the same way that like shellac ruins your nails where it kind of, I don't know, I feel like it, do it doesn't do the best for my nails, my natural nails. But if you need something that's gonna last, get the dip. Because man, they la have lasted so long and they don't even show any signs of anything. Like they still look really good. I mean they don't look good, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, time to do some laundry. All right, here is the before and the after. Now I need to put it away, but I'm actually gonna wait until the other load comes out of the wash and then, or out of the dryer, and then I'll put it all away together. So if you're curious, um, I always dump all of my um, dried, unfolded clothes here, and then I usually pull a stack of hangers and I put them right here. And then as I start folding, I pile them into Riley's shirts, my pants, my PJ pants, my shirts, Riley's pants. And these are like kitchen rags and towels and things. And then um, these are two pairs of jeans that aren't completely dry. And so I'm just hanging them over the edge to just dry to completion before I put them in the drawers. And then as things, as I am doing um, like folding, when I find things that are that need to be hung up. I just take the hanger from my little spot right there and I put it on, I put the clothing item on the hanger, obviously. And then after, you know, when I'm going ahead and putting all this stuff away, I hang this stuff up. So there's your little laundry <laughs> information. And usually, I usually have, I usually flip my laundry basket over and I usually put my iPad on and I watch a YouTube video or something like that while I am folding. I just heard the other load come out, uh, or just beep that it's done with the washing machine. So I'm gonna put that in the dryer and then fold that. So I thought I'd show you a couple of things I picked up for our next Disney trip. You know I love starting little collections before we go away anywhere, but definitely before Disney. So the first thing is this little Kavu, um, Kavu, whatever, backpack, and it's like a sling pack. It's really neat. So you you wear this across your chest like a crossbody. Well, you could. That's how I plan on wearing it. You could also wear it over one shoulder. And it kind of, the way that it's, the fabric is, um, it kind of, you can see it kind of wraps around your body, and this is on your back. Um, so this would be like if you were looking at somebody from the back. It would go across. It wouldn't go straight up and down because the front would be a crossbody. Does that make sense? And they're all different patterns, and I just went for the black. I like black bags um, because I feel like they're timeless and they don't show dirt. But it's quite large, um, and you can fit a whole bunch in it, which I love because you can put layers in it, a change of clothes, a change of shoes, 
um, camera, like for me on my camera stuff. Anyway, I just thought it was really cool. I've had my eye on one for a while and um, I bought something off of Amazon and had to return it and so I had a credit. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. I thought it was really, really neat. I think the rope detail is super cool. I just love that. It's actually four separate ropes and you kind of wear it. So that's that. I'll link it below. It's from Amazon, as is most of my life. And then in the other little package, it is a magic, I have a magic band decal. So these go on the two ends. And then this little, it's a navy blue head with a rose gold um, bow. And that goes in the middle. And I've gotten a little decal for my magic band the past three times that we have gone. So I had to carry on with the tradition and get this one. This one is off of um, a Etsy shop called the Auburn Bee. So I will link, I will link this backpack below and I will also link um, this Etsy shop below. She has so many cute, so many cute ones. So I've already picked, oh, and I picked my magic band color and um, it's pink. So this will go on a pink magic band. I've never had a pink one. I've had a blue one, a purple one, and a gray one, I think but I've never had a pink one. So my pink one is coming and I'm super excited. So I'm gonna have to get a little basket. Anyway, sorry, I had to stop the recording to clean my lens because it wouldn't focus. I am um, going to have to grab a little basket and stick it in our closet like I always do and put these two things in it for Disney. I love collecting little things before we go. So those are my latest and greatest Disney related purchases. I also wanna show you the um, latest Grove collaborative order that I got because it is so great. Don't mind my hair, hot mess. Um, so I talked in my last weekly vlog about Glo Grove collaborative. None of this is sponsored, first of all. Um, although I would love to work with Grove, so like holler at me if you want. Um, oh, my camera's, my battery's dying, hang on. So Grove is this really cool company that um, is basically a an online retailer of things of all the different kinds of household things that you could want namely things like cleaners dish soap um like laundry detergent they have all kinds of body care products they have shampoo and face wash and sunscreen baby care items pregnancy related items um vitamins it's like a natural retailer um, and some things are more naturally leaning than other things are um, but they have a wide variety of organic stuff they have a wide i just think it is so cool and i wish i had been a member for the past three years i don't know what i've been doing um it's amazing like we got our first order and we got all this they also like i don't know i got all this free stuff in my first order and then i just got another order and i have three free things in it which i'll show you it's just awesome. And now that I'm a member, I have a referral link. So if you click on my referral link below and place your first order, then you get five things for free, which is pretty awesome. One of the things that I love the most, let me show you it, it's called the Bubble Up Brush. And I got it in my last order and I hadn't used it yet. I think I shared it in my vlog, but I hadn't used it. So here's what it is. So it's basically this little cute white dish and this little wooden, um, scrubby and then there's this little piece that has kind of like a bungee and then it has a piece of plastic with little holes in it so what you do is you put um well you can there's a variety of ways you could do it the way that I do it is I put a little bit of warm water or hot water here in the bottom and then I put this on top and I I um, pour just a little bit of dish soap on here and then you t and then it's it's bungee and so you take this and you just kind of go like this and it's, it's called the bubble up brush. And so it bubbles, everything bubbles up. And then you just go like this and you can scrub your dishes. And just doing that little warm water and squirt of dish soap, I can wash a whole sink full of dishes. Like I just did all of these this morning. I just did all of these this morning. It's so awesome. I also got this little um, tray. This is a Grove tray. It says Grove right here on the back. Um, in my last order as well. I don't remember if that was free or not. I don't, I don't think that one was free that time, but I know that people have gotten this for free before. Anyway, it's awesome. This company is awesome. I love this little bubble up brush and I love the different products they have. I got all of this from Grove. I am like totally a convert. This is my new favorite thing. You're probably gonna hear me talking about it a lot because I think it's so, so cool. 
So let me show you what's in my latest order. So first of all, I got some of these um, microfiber cleaning cloths. I thought the color was really neat. They have a few different colors, but I like this kind of bluey, turquoisey color um, for cleaning. So got those. I thought those were cool. I paid for, I'll tell you all the things that I paid for and then the things that they sent me for free. And they did not send them to me for free because I have a YouTube channel. This is how the business is. So many of you commented on my last video like, I can't believe how much stuff I've gotten for free. So if you love homemaking, go check it out. Anyway, this is um, Method All Purpose Cleaner in the scent Clementine. I thought that was a nice thought that sounded like a nice scent um, for fall while still feeling kind of fresh. I got an apron. A, I paid for that one. I'll tell you what I didn't um, pay for, like I said. This is a fog gray cotton apron, and I'm planning on trying to use it for maybe cleaning. Um, I was thinking the other day how it would be nice to have some kind of apron on when I'm doing like a deep clean, just to have a few things in my pockets like with me. Um, so we'll see. I might check it out. It's a really cute apron. I'll use it for cooking if I don't use it for cleaning, but I thought that might work out well. These were a free gift. I did not pay for these. And they are reusable storage bags. And I think these are such a good idea. They're, as you can see, food safe, BPA free. I thought these would be great for marinating meat because I like using a Ziploc for that. Um, I just feel like the marinade, it's like easiest. You know what I'm saying? Like you can squeeze the air out and you know that the marinade is right next to the meat and it's gonna marinate the meat type of thing. Um, but I, every time I do it, I'm like, I wish that there was something that was reusable for this. Well, hello, this is so cool. So I got these for free and I'll definitely let you know. And they're dishwasher safe, which I think is super cool as well, especially if I'm gonna be using, putting raw meat in them. This is Method and it's a hand wash in sea minerals. I like that scent. I used to get it a lot when I was single. And then, this is room freshener and um, it's Mrs. Meyer's room freshener and it's in honeysuckle. It smells really nice. And then one more, oh, I might've gotten two more things. Um, this is also was free. This was or is hand sanitizer gel in the blood orange scent. I love the way this smells. And it's one of those really moisturizing hand sanitizers where your hands don't feel like the actual desert after you use it. I really like it. And that is everything that I got in this order. So this was a pretty small order last time I got quite a lot. Um, but pretty awesome to get these three things free. I mean, I bought four things and got three things for free. So that's pretty, I don't know. I just really like this company. But I also love stuff like this. Anything homemaking, anything cleaning related, it just makes my heart beat faster. So um, I know this isn't for everybody. But if you're like me and you love stuff like this, you have to go check these people out. This this company, Grove, is super cool. They have, um, they're just cool. Like they just have really neat stuff. I really wanna try this out. This is one of the things that they have. It is tree-free paper towels, tissues, and toilet paper, and it's made from a blend of sugarcane and bamboo instead of trees, so I'd like to give that a shot. That's pretty cool. Um, and then they have all kinds of really cool organic, natural type cleaning products. Um, face cleaning products or facial care products um, and also just general body stuff like lotions and shampoo and things like that. I don't know, I'm about to be completely obsessed with this company, I can already tell. They have these, these are cool, I haven't tried them yet but I'd like to. They are like little concentrates, so you squeeze one of them into like a glass spray bottle and you add water and then it becomes um, becomes a cleaner. Anyway, if you're interested, my referral link is below. If you use it, you get a five piece set for free. Um, so it's pretty awesome. But that's my latest Grove. Dinner is in the crock pot. Laundry is close to being done. And I think I'm gonna head up to Riley studio here in just a minute. When I said that I've been busy with Etsy, I meant it. <laughs> here is today's print run. Whew. It is craziness. This is perhaps slightly overdramatic, but I cannot imagine my life without this basket. I literally use it every day. It's my lifesaver when I'm running back and forth to the studio to get things printed. I have my clipboard with all my orders on it, and I can bring my drink and my purse and my snack, and I can throw. It's just so helpful to have everything corralled in one place that's structured. You know, it's not like collapsed. It's just so nice.
highly recommend it. I bought mine off Amazon. I've mentioned it in many, many other videos. I will link it below. I continue to get questions about it. Mine is in navy blue, obviously. There are so many other colors, and I would like to get, I think, one more for around the house. Um, it's just really, really, really useful. So I just spent the past, let me turn my windshield wipers off. I just spent the past five-ish hours <laughs> sorting orders. I'm so tired. I need to go home. I have a Skype meeting tonight at 5.30, so it's three now. Yeah, it's about three now. I need to go home and um, prepare for that. But um, I only have 20 more orders to sort, and then I will get those all printed. Riley will print them, and then I will package each one, which will be a whole other um, bunch of work. But then I can ship them all out, and all my customers will get their orders, and I will be cleared and good, which I am like, I can't wait. It's gonna feel so good. Um, it has been crazy. It has been crazy. What I showed you today, that's today's print run. I can't even tell you, it's been so nuts. But we're really grateful for it. So anyway, I think I'm gonna, you can probably hear the rain. I think I'm gonna run to the grocery store. We need like milk and like a couple of staples that I didn't realize we were out of when I placed our grocery order this week. But I really don't feel like it in this rain. But I might anyway, just so that just to get it done. Go home, finish folding laundry from this morning. Um, and our house smells really good because I have that pulled pork. Well, it's not pulled yet, but that pork is cooking in the crock pot. Um, and then I need to pull myself together. I don't know if I'm gonna take a shower, or just use some dry shampoo and just pull myself together for my meeting tonight. But that's been my day. That's been my day. That's been my day every day for the past like week and a half now. <laughs> but anyway. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey guys, it's about 4.30 or 4.45. I just got off the phone with one of my dearest childhood friends who just lost her grandmother yesterday. And so we just cried together and talked for like an hour and there's just nothing like childhood friends. I've known her since I was, I think five and we have been through every single stage of life together. We were in each other's weddings, like just everything. And there's just such a blessing that comes with childhood friends. And we always say that it's because you don't have to give the backstory. Like when she says a name of someone in her family, I already know who it is. I already know the backstory. I already know what their relationship is like. I already know the dynamic and say like, it's just such a blessing. It's such a gift, especially having had moved in my adult life several times to different places like the backstory thing, it's a blessing when you don't have to. Also, I just grabbed this Tootsie Pop, which was Halloween candy that I bought for the trick-or-treaters. Ask me how many of them I've been eating. Mm, like one a day at least. I love them. So I have a Skype meeting in about an hour, so I'm going to finish prepping for that, eat a lollipop. Um, and probably pull myself together because it surely looks like I've been on the phone crying for an hour. Um, and then after that, dinner will be ready because it is a crock pot meal. So that's what's going on today. I'm ready to lean out. <laughs> I'm emotionally drained. I'm kind of tired physically too, but I am excited. I love Skype meetings, so I'm excited for this one. All right, here is dinner tonight. We have crock pot pulled pork, which is absolutely delicious and truly the easiest recipe you could ever imagine. So I will link that below, plus a few chips and some coleslaw. So it's an easy, yummy meal, and it makes a lot of great leftovers. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning now. Here's Charlie Bear. You say hi. Good morning, baby. I am heading out the door now. I have a lot to get done today. I have two mentorship like Skype sessions, two meetings, and then I also have legit like 100 plus orders to ship out. So, um, but the beginning of this day is fun because I'm going over to Jenny's house and um, bringing, I'm going to go buy Starbucks and pick up coffee for us and then a new friend. And so the three of us are going to go over there and hang out. Um, for a little while, for a couple of hours until I have to get on Skype. So that's what my day's looking like so far. I got up and got showered. Um, I probably should grab something to eat before I head out the door, but that's what I'm up to. It's always nice. 
it's like the beauty of self-employment that I can get up and the first thing part of my day can be hanging out with new friends. <laughs> An old friend and a new friend. Isn't that fun? Um, but then like last night I was working until midnight on the computer So it's such an interesting weird thing because my schedule is so not nine to five But I'm thankful for it. I really like the flexibility. So I am going to head out and do that and um, I doubt I'll film but I will check in with you guys a little bit later Hey y'all it is um, about 4 p.m. Now and I just wrapped up two of my Skype meetings and now I'm getting ready to hunker down and sort like a billion shirts. This huge pile here and then back there is a whole huge box. I have all of these. I have another box under there. I'm going to be doing this for about a while. I think I might just do like 10 or 20 orders and get them to the post office and then um, start up tomorrow. Good morning, it's Thursday. First things first this morning, I went ahead and scrubbed down our whole kitchen, did all the dishes, wiped down all the countertops, just everything that needed to get done. And now I'm gonna go get myself ready because I have two Skype meetings today and I have about 100 Etsy orders that I need to package. So I'm gonna get that going, but this was the first thing I did this morning. It feels so good. When the kitchen's clean and the bed is made, somehow it just feels like the whole house is clean even if it's really not. I wanted to show you what I've been doing every single morning for a few weeks now. And that is, I have my little citrus squeezer thing, juicer, and I put half a lemon in and I squeeze it. This is hard to do left-handed because I'm right-handed. Okay, there we go. So I squeeze it in, the whole half a lemon, and it makes quite a lot of lemon juice. Okay. Then I take this and I fill it up with water and then I drink it. <laughs> so basically this is a recipe for lemon water. You think I should make a standalone vlog on this? <laughs> now this is quite a strong drink. The lemon is obviously, it's a whole half a lemon, so it's very strong. But I absolutely love starting my day like this. I feel like my whole body just feels better when I do this. So there's my little daily lemon. Um, if you don't want that much lemon, just use a little wedge, but I love doing a half. And I usually do it once a day, each morning. Um, but I love lemon, so it's for me it's a really nice way to start my day. Hey guys, um, got my lemon water, ready to start my day. Today is a little bit of a sad day because I was supposed to go pick up my friend this morning from the airport and she was gonna come visit um, my dear, dear childhood friend. But unfortunately, as I mentioned yesterday or the day before, her grandmother passed away this week and so she had to cancel her trip. So she was supposed to come today and stay through Sunday. So we were gonna have like four night, four days and three nights to hang out. And I was just, we were both really, really looking forward to it. But obviously her family is so much more important at this time and being there and, and all of the different things that go along with a loved one's passing. So my love and support is with her and I've been checking in with her, but it's sad because I was, you know, this morning I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, I would be picking her up right now. So I'll get to see her when I'm home next month for Thanksgiving, but you know, we were looking forward to some time in Texas together. So today I have like a bunch of Etsy or I have two Skype meetings. I have one at noon and one at six, I think PM. And then I have, um, about just about a hundred probably 90 to 100 Etsy orders that I need to package today so quite a few and um, that's definitely what the bulk of my day is going to be I want to try to film a video for tomorrow to put up for tomorrow after the other day when I was like I'm so proud of myself I've been so busy and I haven't skipped any videos or any you know content creation on my Monday Wednesday Friday schedule like spoke too soon because yesterday was Wednesday which is a day that I normally publish something new and I didn't and now it's not, I'm not sure if I'll even be able to publish anything tomorrow um, but you know what? We can only do so much in a day and that's the beginning and end of it. Like I have all these Etsy orders just pouring in, uh, well not pouring in anymore, but like just sitting there waiting for me to complete them and I've got to get them done and it just is very time consuming. So, um, not complaining, just the reality. 
Anyway, I'm gonna grab something to eat because I'm getting pretty hungry here and um, Charlie's just staring at me. Why? Why? <laughs> um, and then afterwards, I'm going to get going on Etsy. Here we go. I'm gonna need that lemon water. What do you think? What do you think? Charlie Bear? What do you think? His T-R-E-A-T's used to be on the top of that, and so he's like, that's basically what he's asking for right now. No, you're not getting any. I love you. <laughs> All right, I'm getting into the thick of packaging, so today I need to package everything that's on that table, everything that's on that shelf, everything that's down on the floor, and then everything that's in the chair. So I've already done like 15 orders, and I need to do all of the rest of these, I'm gonna be in here for at least another hour and a half, and then I need to drop it off at the post office. Um, well, all this will take me much more than an hour and a half, but I'm gonna do what I can in the next hour and a half because the post office closes, it's 2.30 now, post office closes at 4.30 and I wanna leave here for, by around four or 4.10 to make sure I get there in time. So, that is what I'm up to. Packaging, 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 packaging. Well, I got through about 40 orders, something like that. So I still have 70 left here. Um, well, this is not quite 70. I still have some that I need to print. Basically, <laughs> I'm still gonna be working on this for a while. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go to the post office because it's just about four and I want to, like I said earlier, I wanna make sure I get these orders out before the post office closes at 4.30. And then I'll come back home and um, work a little while longer um, on orders that I will ship out tomorrow. So um, I'm getting close. I have 70 open orders. I just checked. Um, I think I said that. I still have 70 open. And um, that's pretty manageable. It was it was not manageable there for a while. It was a little cray cray, <laughs> a little crazy. Um, but now it's 70 is good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, I haven't eaten. I don't. I don't know if I ate breakfast. Yes, I ate a bagel for breakfast. So I haven't eaten since then. It's 4 o'clock now. I need to go get something to eat. I have a Skype meeting at 6. And I'm thinking probably there won't be any new content tomorrow. <laughs> it just is what it is. So um, anyway. And then hopefully next week I'll get back on the bandwagon. And that's what I'm going to do. Also, I know I talk about this basket like... 24 7 but it is so helpful to be able to throw i need to go swing by riley's studio and pick up one shirt that i need to mail out today so that's why that one's open it will go in there and then i have my water and i have my camera case on the other side and my purse and it's so nice to not have all those things in my arms and they're just in my little basket i'll link it below i've linked it below a dozen times people ask me about it a lot though um Hey guys, it is about six o'clock now, and I'm stepping into my office to get ready for a Skype meeting that I have. Um, it's actually was supposed to start at six, but um, unfortunately my mentee got stuck in traffic because she said, she emailed me and said that there was a horrible accident, um, which totally happens. So I'm just gonna hang out on my computer until she's able to get online. Um, I went to the post office, which was great. And um, I am fading. <laughs> I went to the post office and dropped off all of those orders, which was great. And I checked my P.O. box and I got a really lovely letter from a subscriber named Lindsay, who I totally recognized your name, Lindsay, because I've seen you in the comments before. So thank you so much for your letter. Um, I have got to, unfortunately, I'm going to have to change my, for a while now, since I opened up my P.O. box, um, almost two years ago. It was in February of... 2017 so basically all of 2017 and now close to all of 2018 so like 18 months or so I have responded to every by hand written out a response to every single person who has sent me a letter which is like I just have loved it it's it's really you know it's nice it's like nice to do snail mail and write people letters and I've just really enjoyed it but the volume at this point is just it just can't I can't do it so kind of stinks doesn't it so um I guess my new kind of P.O. box mail policy will be that if I can my ideal is to respond to everyone but I just want to put that out there in case 
um, in case anyone was thinking about sending me a letter and then you were really hoping for a response. Um, I'm, I think, I think I'm going to try to respond to, I have a stack now of mail, um, from the past probably month or so. So I'm going to try to respond to all of that. And then I think this like new policy sounds so official and silly, but, um, you know what I mean? Just this new kind of whatever moving forward. I wish I, if there's two things that I wish with regards to sharing online, the first one would be that I would have enough time to respond to every comment, every message, every email, and every letter because it is what makes all of the sharing and everything else that I do completely worthwhile. It's what I absolutely love is connecting with people all over the world who I would never get to meet in real life normally because we would never bump into each other normally, um, but that I get to connect with online. I love it so much. It's what I've loved for the past seven plus, well, close to seven years that I have been um, sharing online. And so I wish I had time for that and I just, don't um and i i really wish i do did it's something i've wrestled with a lot and riley my husband has really had to um speak into that area of like blair you cannot respond to every single person you do not have time to do that but i just want to the second thing i wish is way more pie in the sky and i wish that i had the ability to have everyone over for dinner <laughs> I would just love to get to know each of you and hear your story and hear about your family and your life and your dreams and your goals. Like, I would love that. But, um, that's not possible. In fact, I actually, earlier this week, just out of curiosity, I took the, um, I took the, um, number of subscribers I have and divided it by 365 days in a year. And I got, like, about I think 54 years or something and I was like obviously that's not gonna work out but those are the two things I wish so my heart behind it is that I wish I could respond to everyone but I can't anyway I'm gonna get ready to Skype I just heard Riley come in I'm gonna go say hi to him since now I have a minute and um, we have Bible study in a little while so we'll be heading out to do that I gotta take off my I'm like propping my arm up <laughs> I'm tired um, I gotta take off this Disney sweatshirt before I Skype Although my mentee loves Disney, so I bet she wouldn't mind. Okay, that's been my Thursday. Whew. Hey guys, it is just about midnight now. It's three minutes until midnight on Thursday night. And um, it's been a long day, but a productive day. As you can see, I'm still in my office getting things done. I have done some more Etsy stuff and I'm trying to get this shop ready for relaunch. So even though I'm making some big changes to my shop, I'm not doing them all at once because uh, that's very overwhelming. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reopen my shop hopefully in the next week or so and slowly introduce some of my new products and new designs and things like that. And over time, I'm going to shape my um, shape my shop into kind of what I want it to be. It's not gonna happen all at once. If it was gonna happen all at once, it would have to stay closed like until January 1st because it's just gonna have to be a lot of little changes and not, that's that's not gonna work for me. So we're reopening it like in the next week and um, that's what's going on. So that's a lot of behind the scenes work on my part of just like thinking through how this is all gonna go down. And I'm sure I'll make mistakes and have to readjust my sales because that's how life goes. But I'm confident, I, I'm no, I'm, we, we know where we're going. Anyway, I'm gonna work for a little while longer and then head to bed. I will see you in the morning. It's been a very productive Thursday. I wanna say I'm tired, but I'm not. <laughs> because this is how my life goes. Every night at around 11, I get a full out second wind and I feel completely awake. And I don't like drag the next day in the morning, like tomorrow I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm so tired. This is just like night owl status. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go to bed soon-ish and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's Friday morning and I'm heading out the door to go get some Etsy stuff done. It is absolutely pouring down rain outside, it's super cozy. But I wanted to show you my outfit. Let me see what the easiest, maybe I'll put you here on my bookshelf. Is this gonna work? Mm, the lighting might be kind of weird but this top is one that I talked about in my kind of mini fall haul it's this super super soft fleecy material oh, this lighting it's so dark outside um, 
this super super soft and fleecy material it's from gap and um it's really really cozy riley hugged me this morning before work and was like oh that's so cozy and then it has the little ties up the side i like it because it covers your rump if you can see um it goes down low enough that i'm wearing it with leggings and then let me put you over here. Okay, this is much better. So it's this kind of soft, fleecy, blue, heathered material. The lighting is kind of blown out now, but you get the idea. And um, Riley hugged me this morning. He was like, that is so soft. And I love it on the sides because like I said, it's kind of nice and long enough that I will wear it with leggings. And I'm wearing some, <laughs> how's this for a thumbnail? <laughs> I'm wearing hunter boots. I've had these for a long time where I went to college it rained a whole bunch so I used to wear them to walk around campus but um, and then I have my little basket that my basket of dreams it matches very well with everything I'm wearing but um, I'm gonna head out here in just a second I just wanted to show because I told you when I was showing those um, different outfits I said I'm not gonna do a try on right now but I will be sure to show you as I wear them um, and so that's what I'm wearing today. This is comfy. This is like super comfy and it's not like formal at all, but like I don't need it to be formal. So very comfy, looks relatively pulled together. That's my kind of outfit. Anyway, I'm going to head out the door now. Let me turn off some of these lights and, um, get to work. The post office closes at 4.30 and so I need to make sure that I get get it together before um, before then. And then I wanna sleep this weekend. <laughs> That's what I wanna do. <laughs> Luckily the rain outside is making that a lot more, um, it's making it even more cozy. So that's what I'm up to. Happy Friday, I'm so glad it's Friday. Hey guys, <laughs> look who I have. Little towel baby. It's, um pouring absolutely raining cats and dogs and this one had to go outside he wouldn't go out all morning but i finally made him because i knew he had to go and now he's all snuggled into me because he's so cold he hates the water he's such a poodle you hate it he hates it so much he just hates it so much so anyway he went outside, now we're snuggled up. He's being so sweet. Look, it's like a little baby. He's just precious, I love him. And um, so I'm gonna hold him for a little minute and make sure he's calmed down because he just hates going out in the rain so, so much. I know you hate it, but he's being good. A lot of you guys have been asking about Charlie. I just haven't filmed him because he's, he's just so good. He's five now. He's just so easy, he's such an easy dog. Like. We let him out a couple times a day. We walk him a few times a week. He just entertains himself. We play with him. You know, he's just really easy. So anyway, that's what's going on. There's your little cutie, cutie Charlie segment. He's just all snuggly, little rainy baby. All right, I'm going to work on getting some of these other orders out. That's what I'm going to do. All right, a few hours later and here we are. Um, I think it's a, just about another 40 orders. I did 40 yesterday, I think this is just about another 40. And so that means I still have 30 left. Um, and then I can reopen, I wanna clear all my orders before I reopen. So these are going to the post office, it's just about 4 p.m. so I have 30 minutes in this pouring rain to get over to the post office and um, get these all dropped off. And um, that should be good. I can check my P.O. box while I'm there as well. And I think I'm going to stop by my friend Jenny and her, Jenny's and hang out with her and her boys and see baby Theo and give him some love. There's Charlie Beer. <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's 1130 p.m. now and um, Riley is seeing a movie with his sister. They both love horror and they're going to watch a scary movie and you know your girl is not joining them for that. <laughs> so I'm at home having a great evening just piddling around the house. I just tidied up our kitchen after dinner. Um, Riley grilled fajitas for us 
and I was cleaning out my rain jacket because I was wearing it today and I found this which is the daily um, like itinerary for the Disney cruise that we went on back in May which I vlogged if you're interested in checking that out and you haven't already I know some of you found me and found my channel through that but oh what I would give to be on a cruise right now if those weren't some of my favorite days of my whole entire life. So much fun. If anyone's heading on a cruise sometime soon, and especially if you're heading on a Disney cruise, I hope you have the time of your life. I have a friend and a family member whose both of their families are heading on a Disney cruise in the next month, and I just am so excited for them to experience it. On another note, I found this recipe from eatdrinklove.com and it's overnight cinnamon roll oatmeal and it looks super good. So I am gonna just throw that together, I think right now I'll show you what it looks like and I'll pop a link to this recipe below if you're interested. And then once I make that, I think I'm going to um, take a bath and then get in bed. I have a hard time falling asleep until Riley gets home, but he should be home in the next hour, which isn't absurdly late for me to be staying up anyway, so it should be fine. All right, I'm gonna make this, I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'm probably gonna end the vlog there. All right, I just made this. That was super quick and easy, and it smells amazing, and it's super runny because obviously the oats haven't absorbed the moisture of the milk yet, but I think that should turn out pretty well. So. I'll have to let you know in a future vlog, or if I think of it, I'll pop in a picture here and tell you my thoughts, because um, it has to sit overnight in the fridge. So I'm just gonna cover this with um, saran wrap or something like that and, and let it sit in the fridge, and then I will eat it for breakfast tomorrow morning. And on that note, I'm gonna wrap up this weekly vlog. I feel like I filmed a lot this week, um, which I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a long vlog. It's always hard to tell, it's really hard to tell until I sit down and import the footage onto my computer, but I feel like it's it was like a lot. I just feel like I was holding my camera a lot this week. It's been a good week though, it's been a super good week, and um, I just appreciate y'all's support so much. Thank you for following along. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, I recommend that you subscribe so that you'll get notified, or at least my videos will be in your feed when I publish something new. If you enjoyed this video, as always, I really do appreciate a thumbs up, and I always love to chat with you guys in the comments, so I would love to hear what you've been up to, what your week's been like, what the weather's been like in your neck of the woods, if you're about to go on a Disney cruise, cruise, just really about anything. If you want to chat to me, you can chat to me below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.